Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the three axioms and how we justify them and why they are necessarily those three axioms, why or why objectivism starts with those three axioms. So basically the axioms are existence exists, the existence um, axiom. Everything is what it is, A is A, the identity axiom. Um, and then we have consciousness to perceive reality, the consciousness axiom. Um, all three of these things are basically perceived in every single act of awareness. This is why those are these are the three axioms. This is, this is like why it, this is not an arbitrary starting point. These three axioms are kind are kind of the necessary starting point for metaphysics because it's what's implicit in every act of awareness. So to be aware of something, to um, see something, to observe something is one to observe. That's consciousness. Two to observe something, existence. Three to observe some thing which is identity so all three of those axioms are implicit in every act of awareness um so that that's sort of how we start off metaphysics that's how we begin philosophy basically Bec and this is not arbitrary this is implicit in every act of awareness um to argue against these axioms is to literally argue against every bit of evidence that we have um, so if somebody attempts to make some sort of weird argument against these things or say that we don't know them for certain, um, ask them to point to any evidence of that. They will not be able to. They can't point to a single bit of evidence that contradicts these axioms. Um, and then if you want to identify it for yourself, if you want to know how we prove this, just look at it. It's right in front of you. Every single act of awareness proves these um proves these axioms to be true you find evidence for them in every act of awareness so the idea that there's no evidence for them is absurd or that you can't like prove things like this um these really like obvious axiomatic starting points these are obviously true because they every bit of evidence we have points to them being true um which is necessary <laughs> like and to even have evidence to begin with we need to make those assumptions because um well, yeah, we need to we need to believe those things to be true to even claim something as evidence in general because evidence the only connection we have with reality is our senses, um, and we have to basically perceive something, um, perceive something, perceive something. Um, all all of the axioms are said right in in that statement, um, and there's no deductive proofs of this. There's no sort of thing where I can just start with absolutely nothing and deductively prove these axioms. No, these are implicit in every act of awareness. You have to induce them. Um, now you induce them through every single act of awareness immediately, so it's very, very easy to induce. It's not some complicated task of isolating a bunch of variables against itself because, I mean, existence, there's no variables apart from existence. Existence is all that there is. There's nothing outside of existence, which means no thing outside of existence which means nothing nothing means nothing nothing can't exist um but yeah there's nothing outside of existence so you basically have to um you have to understand that and go from there because you can you can basically induce that in every single act of awareness because you're not putting it against any variables you're not isolating any variables there's no variables to isolate here you're observing existence with every every single act of awareness but yeah, uh, I think that's all I have to say for today. It was a little shorter of a video today since I'm just talking about the axioms, but I hope you guys gained some value out of that. Um, if I misspoke at, at any point, please feel free to correct me in the comments. Uh, comments. Um, if I said anything inconsistent or anything wrong, feel free to correct me in the comments as well. Um, especially if you're an objectivist, I'm not too interested in hearing um, skeptics argue with me in the comments because, I mean... They're literally denying every single thing that we observe. Um, so, yeah, whatever. I think that's all I have to say for today. Um, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Peace.